My ambition has always been to do things in a different way. And I think through the movement of technology over the last few years, that's kind of encouraged me to do that because of the fact that there's always new and different approaches you can take where in the past you had to kind of look for things. I think the biggest thing around IT is not being closed-minded, of being open-minded and basically kind of researching what other people go through. For years and years, we took paper processes and computerized them. We never changed the way people did stuff. We just took it from paper to electronic. If it was a, a poor process on paper and you computerize it, it's now a poor computerized process. Our ER was built for about 40,000 visits a year and we're seeing 120,000 visits a year. So one of our biggest components is space. Currently today we register somebody in ER and then when they come as an inpatient we re-register them in a different system. So that's, that's very valuable to have all that data in one area, not only for the flow of the patient, but even mining the data. So it's that migration of making it a uniform platform where everything's on the same playing field and everybody accesses the same data, they just view it in a different way. That way allergies and drug medications that you're on all flows to everybody and nothing's missed because you forgot to go into another system and look for it. Cloud computing in the beginning was very scary for me. Just being able to put that information out there and making it more uh, vulnerable. What we're doing is we're doing it in stages so that we can get control of it, feel comfortable with it, and then as we move we will migrate and put more of our applications out there in the cloud. One of the biggest things it does for us is it's a very cost-efficient way of doing things. Um, right now, we have to either buy a server for everything or virtualize it, and it becomes very expensive. Being able to share that over multiple users in a cloud environment helps us with our cost as well. Ten years ago, we were self-contained in an environment, and our, all our data, all our computing was done inside these four walls. And nobody ever touched it unless somebody encrypted an email and sent it outside. Today we've had to open up patient portals. We've had to open up communication with physicians' offices. When you do all that, that opens and changes your whole magnitude of security. One of the philosophies we've changed in our security is not how to build the security stronger and stronger and stronger every week, but add a new dynamic of if you do have security issues or you are attacked, what's your recovery? And we found out that that's the biggest impact of this facility is not if you do have a, an attack, but if you are, how fast can you get back to normal? Some of the things we're looking at is some of the devices, the tablets, and how those work and integrate. If you have 100 devices you have to maintenance, that's parts, that's knowledge you have to educate your staff on. The balance is getting things that work for people, for the end user, yet narrowing it to that standardization so that you can actually really take care of that equipment and understand it. So it's building that uh, linkage between the mobile devices that they use within the room to educate the patient, yet the other stations that they use to get information on the patient and document that information. It's actually really exciting because we're going to be implementing a new system. We're going from a system that is not quite as integrated as it needs to be to a fully integrated system so that we can actually provide all the services for the uh, people that work at the facility, increasing patient care, making things more efficient, taking those outcomes that we analyze and doing something with them and then probably the biggest avenue is bringing the outside world in, bringing the outpatients and integrating them with the inpatient. Being able to integrate the physician's offices, being able to link it all so that you have one record and one record of care so that the physician can look at it and know what happened when you were in the hospital and know what happened when you were in the physician's office.